Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel, What Cass Read. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Today I am filming a sit down booktube video, a sit down booktube video with my shelves in the background. And the only reason that happened is because because my son decided to take a nap. And so I threw on some lipstick and here we are. I've been thinking about like, all right, if I'm gonna sit down and film some booktube videos, what are some of the topics that I wanna cover while I kind of get back into the swing of booktube? You know what I mean? I just posted my first reading vlog back. I am starting over with Throne of Glass. I'm starting over with Sarah J Maas. And so I'm documenting that experience. The whole title of that video, of that reading vlog is I'm starting over. I'm starting over. Not only am I starting over in life, but there's a lot of book series that I want to start over and reread. That's right. I have discovered that I am a mood reader. I was just looking and my first booktube video that I posted was six years ago. Crazy. Um, back in the like earlier churning and burning of YouTube videos and booktube videos that I was filming, it was like I was in the middle of six or seven or nine or 10 or 20 book series at a time because I'd always like pick a new one up each month and like really stretch this out and have my TBRs really super long. Um, and it wasn't until like two years ago, I think, maybe a year and a half ago, I decided I, I don't like TBRs. <laughs> I don't like TBRs. I am just such a mood reader and I just really want to read what what I feel like sounds good in the moment. By doing that old method of stretching out the series for forever, I lost so much up here of like what was going on in the series, which is why I'm starting over with Sarah J Maas, one of the reasons. And so I wanted to talk about some of the other book series that I I plan on starting over very soon. Um, and if you're interested, you could follow along in my um, reading vlog journeys of me starting over. So let's go ahead. This intro was super long. Let's get to the books. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this one up very briefly. But I the, the whole like me starting the vlog again and me starting the channel again um, is documenting my journey of connecting the dots in all of Sarah J Maas's books. I'm trying to read for the bigger picture. And the only way I could do that is if I started over from the beginning. So that's what I did. I actually, in October, I finally picked up a book again. It had been months. And so I read Akatar 1, 2, 3. And then I read Throne of Glass 1, 2, 3. And now I'm on Assassin's Blade. And I think I'm gonna go like, eyeballs deep and I'm gonna read book four of Throne of Glass then I'm gonna tandem read book five and six then I'm gonna finish with book seven Kingdom of Ash then I'm gonna go back to the Akatar books and then I'm gonna jump back to the Crescent City books now I don't know if you remember but I DNF to Crescent City book two I was like I'm done I'm done with this author and I remember feeling at the time that I was just like so bored with the main love characters. I was just over them. I didn't care, but I, I spaced out Crescent City Book 1 and Crescent City Book 2 when they were released. So I, it had been months before I went back to the characters and had to refresh my memory and I couldn't do it. So I think I'm going to become a binge series reader again because um, that's how I used to do it. And, you know, the details stayed up there. I find I'm able to keep track of things a lot better once I when I do it that way. Um, but I DNF'd book two of Crescent City and I remember thinking like there's a bigger plot line here that I'm just that that's really all I want to read. And all of this other stuff is getting in the way and I just don't have it in me to do 800 pages of this. Um, well, I already know the spoiler of what happened at the end of book two, and that's kind of what made me think, all right, we're gonna start over. We're gonna go back to the beginning and we're gonna try and connect the dots. Throne of Glass follows a young woman named Selena Sardothian. And um, it's in this kingdom that she has been made a slave and she, has been given the opportunity to like earn her freedom 
if she were to compete in the king's contest to become his champion. Now, the reason why she's selected for this is because she's a very well-known assassin and she's just got a deadly set of skills. <laughs> That's just like barely book one, but what, what is really going on is, is the kingdom that she is currently fighting to become the king's champion for, they have wiped out and decimated her home kingdom. They have wiped out and decimated entire populations of people, and they have put the entire continent in this like magic, no magic ban land where the king is all powerful and there's no magic to be seen once he kind of like moved in and took over and wiped out, you know, all of these different kingdoms and cities. So that's the man that she's fighting for. He's not really a guy that we want. We want winning. He's the bad guy. So um, that's what Throne of Glass starts with. And it it's an epic series. It's seven books long, including or seven books long plus this book which is a collection of short stories giving us more backstory so i did enjoy books one two and three of this trilogy i pretty much gave them the same ratings that i gave them the first time around where i, I gave book one three star book two three and a half star and then book four where i feel things really pick up and are definitely worth your time to get to um i gave that one four stars Another fantasy, romantic author, before I had to give that synopsis, yes, I want to get back to Carissa Broadbent. And um, she is on Kindle Unlimited. You can pretty much read almost all her stuff on Kindle Unlimited, I think. But this is The War of Lost Hearts, Volume 1. This is a trilogy. Um, and then she also has the Crowns of Nyaxia series. And I've teetered between the two series. So once again, it's another author that has a lot of stuff going on. And I've just kind of like lost track of where I am. So same same thing is happening actually with all of these series that I'm going to go back to. So this one I wanted to start off with first because it's a completed trilogy. So I just want to binge the whole trilogy and get it over with. Not get it over with, but you know what I mean. I just want to binge the whole trilogy. So Daughter of No Worlds, her name is Tasana, and she is also a slave. So there's a common theme between these two romantic books. She is a slave and she is trying to earn her freedom and it's this whole one kingdom has usurped other kingdoms and she's trying to flee um, and she meets someone who is going to train her in this magic that it turns out that she wields but she could never really do that because she was a slave. Um, so I have already read book number one I've forgotten like so much. I couldn't tell you much more than that very weak synopsis of that one. So I think this will be the next author. Once I'm done with Sarah J Maas, I think this will be the next author that I end up going back to do a reread. Now let's get to some fantasy. All right, let's get to some fantasy. So my very good friends at the Ketchup Book Club have decided to do um, the John Gwyn along. Uh, is that what they're calling it? That's what I just came up with. I don't know if that's the official name. But, you know, Becca and the Books, the whole crew, um, they're going to start, it's actually starting this month in November, um, they're starting with the Faithful and the Fallen series, and then they're going to continue on um, through the rest of John Gwynn's books. Now, I have read the entire Faithful and the Fallen series, and it is like top tier, one of my loves, one of my favorites. And since they're already doing a read I might as well join them and do a reread and kind of tune into the live shows so that's what I'm going to do here but then when they continue on I do want to continue on because there's like a sequel series to Faithful and the Fallen that I still haven't read yet and then he does have the Bloodsworn trilogy which book three just came out and I read book one started on book two once again because I was waiting for the new releases I forgot everything so now I want to go back and start over on the Bloodsworn saga but I'm going to do I'm gonna do Malice first. This takes place in the Banished Lands where, um, you know, a long time ago, it was kind of ruled by giants and gods and these other creatures. And so we're many, many, many years into the future where things are rumbling, you know, after the fall of the giants and men rose to power and took over the world. Um, we are now noticing some rumblings of like 
signs telling us that the old powers are kind of at work again. Um, and so it's a good versus evil battle. It's a whole thing. We follow with like a whole host of characters and I, I loved, loved the conclusion to this. So I'm actually really excited to start on this. I think I'll pick this up a little bit closer to the live show, but I think when I do, I don't know, I can't predict the future, but I think when I do, I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm just going to read all four in a row. I don't know. All right. And then the next one, you all know this guy. Oh boy. I'm going to reread the Stormlight Archive because book five is coming out. Now, fun fact, I started my booktube channel for the sole purpose of me trying to read Oathbringer, which was book three of the Stormlight Archive. I had no idea that the Cosmere existed, that there was this whole thing, and I just had no idea, right? So that's kind of like what started me on that path. Basically, the whole goal was to get into the Stormlight Archive. So this is Brandon Sanderson, The Way of Kings. Um, book five, so this is going to be a 10 book series. Book five that's coming out early 2025, I think, or maybe it's coming out end of this year. I'm not sure. It's coming out soon. Um, so it's a 10 book series. Book five that is just going to be released is kind of going to be the end to the first arc of this whole series. Now, I have read this one. I've read The Way of Kings. There's actually, if you go back into my booktube channel, there's reviews and spoiler reviews of at least two of them. Um, so I've read The Way of Kings, I've read The Words of Radiance, and I've read Oathbringer. I took a pause and didn't continue on to Rhythm of War, which is book four. Uh, that came out a couple years ago because I had to see this is all interconnected. Um, where is it? Up top. I had to read Mistborn Era 2. If you've never heard of Brandon Sanderson, this is all going to sound like crazy talk to you. Brandon Sanderson, this Cosmere universe, things are interconnected. And so before reading book four, I was told I had to start on Mistborn Era 2. So that's what I did was I read the trilogy. And then he came out with a fourth Mistborn Era 2 book, which I haven't read yet because I was told that you have to read book four, Rhythm of War, before you can get to that one. And it was all confusing and I got so lost and it has been ages since I've read, just straight read um, the Stormlight Archive. So once again, now with book five coming out, there's just so much detail that I forgot and I know I loved all of the books, gave them all five stars. They were like top of the top top of the top for me. Um, but I've forgotten quite a lot. So I'm gonna go with the insane idea of just starting back over and rereading all of them. And by that time, who knows, because I prefer the paperback, who knows, by that time, maybe um, book five will be in paperback instead of the hardcover edition that's gonna come out first. I don't know. I don't know. So those are four series that I have looked at on my shelves and been like, absolutely, I have big plans to reread these, to catch back up on them, because I got so lost with trying to read things as they came out that I've just lost track of so much. Um, so if you are also like me, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you plan on rereading any of these. I already know that there were a ton of people who were rereading Stormlight throughout all of last year in preparation for book five coming out. And I just, I was in a bad place mentally and could not handle fantasy books. Let's just put it that way. I was like literally so depressed that I could only read straight romance because I needed happily ever afters in my books. And that's not always guaranteed in fantasy. That was my list. That was my list of book series I plan to reread. And since now I completely stay at home and plan on filming more bookish content and putting out my full time effort to being able to reread again. I hope to get to these very, very soon and I'll take you all along with me in the vlog format. And then, you know, if there's any other things that you want from me, put that in the comment section below. It's been a minute since I've been on booktube. And so I'm just, I've just kind of been playing catch up and seeing what people are up to. And so if you've seen me pop into your comment section and saying something about your TBR or your wrap up or something, it's, it, I missed y'all. 
I missed you and I wanted to come and say hello. Um, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. All the social media things will be down below. My small business links will be down below if you uh, wanna go ahead and check those out. And then of course, you know how these videos end. I'll talk to you later. Bye.